Hello and welcome to Panthe Place Morrowind. I'm Netty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And as you might see, I'm here. Yes, I really am. I am finally visible in my Let's Plays again with a camera. Or should I say, I think I've never been visible in the Let's Play videos, only in the streams, but now I'm also visible in the videos. OBS to be thanked, and I'm pointing in this direction because this is where the screen OBS is, and of course the new webcam that I have attached to my screen. So now you can watch me while I play, not just hear me. And there we go, we are in Bethuminal. We are standing before the Lava River Passage, and we want to bring this skull of gratitude to someone who is supposedly in here. And I'm curious if we are going to find that person. So we are still hearing the clanking of the spiders. I'm curious um, if I follow that clanking. No, I won't. I won't find them, but I can still rest until heal before we enter the Holds of Lava. And we have a level up. I did not actually know this. So of course the willpower goes up. It, um, it's the intelligence. Those are kind of obvious. Um, I think we do want to carry more this time, so let's go with that combination. Thank you very much. And excuse me for the burpees. I just had food. Delicious, delicious food from HelloFresh. And no, I'm not sponsored. I just like it. <clears throat> and there we go. This is Bethumina, the Lava River Passage. Um, let me drop a quick save after leveling up. And then let's head inside. Now we're going to be a little bit more quiet. So, sure. Let's try and sneak. Okay, he noticed me. Well, now we can also start. We can also speak normally again and start. Hey, why am I not hitting you with my fire bite? There you go. I'm able to play properly. There we go, but we managed to kill him. Okay, let's, let's keep sneaking. And uh, I think we can just take everything he has. Um, there's this hammer that we can use to real quick um, repair things. I just need to press, or need to have my uh, mouse on the right position. And the greater soldier is not filled with anything. Let us drop a quick save and continue to sneak on. Continuing as. We are really bad at sneaking, as it seems. He is healing himself with, I guess, a potion. And he has some kind of damage. The item was a fire. So I think it's a flame. I mean, so it is fire damage. And we're already over encumbered. So let us just put something heavy. This has a weight of 30. That is good. And let's put this, which is also pretty heavy, back. And then do our typical trick. Uh, where is it? Mark. I think we now have to um, see if I, if I don't, don't misremember. Yes, and I, again, I forgot to put on the other amulet. Because of course I did. So let us real quick head over. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming up. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that was a strong one. I hope I didn't blow away your ears. Because I will surely forget in post-production to remove that. Also, when my eyes dart to the left side, this is, as I said, this is where the OBS screen is. So there is some movement, maybe there is some movement there. I can't minimize it because then I won't know, I won't see the timer. So let us just go ahead and sell stuff. So this is our blade. Oh, nice, interesting darts. And this silver flame blade, which we don't need. Keeping an eye on the amount of money that he owes us. Seems like that was everything. He doesn't buy standard stuff. Okay. Perfect. Okay, yes. he does not yet like us to 100%. I did not know that, so we kind of wasted a little bit of that. Anywho. 
I don't know where to begin. I did not remember which um, which guy or which merchant we already had completely maxed out our disposition with. So let us heal up. Welcome. And then Care just talk? recall. And take these two. Yep. I think we can still continue sneaking around. Okay, those were these two. Let us see. There's a little observation area here, which is actually pretty nice. You can sit here, have a lunch, and watch the lava. There's even something. Is that there's a Kajin there, and he seems to be hostile. Yeah, he's trying to kill. No, he's not trying to kill us. He's, he's, he is shooting upward, but there is a second figure. So there are two figures fighting. Let's continue. No, they did not notice us because the sleep symbol is still active. So let us continue go along here and take everything that's down here, that's up here. And then we will see. These are nice plates. These are really looking awesome. So again, I'm talk talking so loud so they don't hear us. It would be a shame if they went through all the effort of sneaking and that they would hear us, right? Yeah, it's hard to aim properly. Okay, let's see. So I'm curious with the two one. If, if the Khajiit is a Khajiit slave, I hope it's, it's the slave, so we can free them. But I'm curious, so there's also lots of books here. But it could be that they're all the same book, we will see. It is twi twice the poison song. Uh, two different books though. Okay, so let's take these books with us. Our acrobatic skill increased. That's that's this little observation room where we could see two people fighting, and there is a statue here. There's a statue of a dwarf. Okay, let us check. I think we should head back. I think we can also just use the old marking. Don't need to read back and sell everything. Okay, so that's, um, yeah, as I said, when I look in that direction, generally it's me looking at the recording timer so I know when the episode is over. So let us see what we actually found. Um, I could actually, one thing that I always did was trying to, I don't want to search by ingredients, I want to search by effects. And let's start with restoring fatigue. It's an easy thing to do. And let's create all that we can do. Water walking, no, it's only. Yeah, restore attribute. Basically, I'm just checking if I can train my alchemy skill. Yeah, this is something that we have. Um, drain magicka, drain attribute strength. Seems like that was the last one. Nope, there's another one. Drain personality. And there we go. And now we can sell them. So let's go back to the armor and sell the two weapons that we got and I think the rest is just stuff and How can I help? disposition 80 which is good let's head to the fine alchemist to sell the potion You're on your honor. going to put the books with Kaios Kusadis again and then we will see when I record the next story time I'm not sure when this will happen yet. I have some story times prepared already, which I just need 
to attach to the actual episode. There we go. And we're going to sell... Well, that, that one is cheap, Restore Magic, of course. The Drains, Restore Fatigue exclusive is awesome. Of course, we don't need the Grief. I should have pressed the Shift key and Restore Fatigue, 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 Health, Restore Magicka, no, more Restore Magicka, Smith Hands, Fortify Armor Skill. Well, I don't need that. Standard Restore Magicka Potion, Zajama. And then basically it's just ingredients, which I'm also going to get rid of. And I bet she's not. No, she's not taking any extras. Thank you oh, very much. An... So now we can head to the general stores and sell the dwarven things, which I might buy back to decorate our home. Which also is something we can check on, but I of course want to finish this part. Don't press your luck. So let's first honor, honor. go to the pawnbroker over here and then head to Ravir to sell any excess if they don't have any money. Let's see. Drazala, I want to sell you something. Uh, these pants, the shirt, this piece of paper, basket, some bottles, you know. Not the soul gem, not the coins. But here's the bowl and stuff and things and other things. You know, it's just general things that you need in every household, right? Um, you might want to you might want to sell these to someone else. Thank you very much. Of course they don't sell it to someone else, they just keep it in their inventory forever. I think we can just we could just teleport that little bit of magicka that we used. It's not making a difference. Okay, let's sneak again. Probably a quick save. Switch to fire by. Should have done that before dropping quick save. Now let's see what we will find around this corner. Okay, there's another staircase down. There's someone. No, that's just the shadow of the corpse upstairs. And we are ending up at this downstairs, and there's this Khajiit. And there's the other person, so they did not fight against each other. They actually tried to fight me. Okay, then I can also start talking normally again, so she wants to paralyze me. Good thing is that the door is in the way. So she's actually kind of blocked. You can just take all of that. She's she's expending all her magic up, which is good. I mean, there is nothing. Oh yeah, I can't repair anything during battle. So now she is. Let us see. Now she's vulnerable. Yeah, you're healing. I know, but that's not enough. I'm actually stronger than that. Okay, so that's Rian. So there's a blade of punishment which she does with. There is a damage attribute intelligence on touch. And that was the shield she was using. That was my phone buzzing. So we're just going to take everything. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go on. Maybe this Khajiit is actually the person we're looking for. We can see. No, he, he is. He is preparing to attack us. Let me just... No, that's the only thing we can do. If we're beginning the attack, we need to retaliate, obviously. We need to defend ourselves. So, that's Droba. That's not the person we were supposed to give the skull to. Luckily. Okay, and let's see. We cannot hit the lava as we will be dead. I'm going to drop a little quick save here. So there is nobody here. So there's just lava flowing here. I bet this, this place does not smell nice. Because I don't think that lava actually smells nice. Okay, there is another entrance. Let me drop another quick save because I'm 
afraid of actually walking into the lava because this is instant death. I just want to see if there is... No, there is nothing there. Even there is... No, this is not... Doing inwards, that's a boulder sticking out of the ceiling. Okay, so basically we just need to go up here and check out that place. Time is okay. And that's another passageway to the path of thoughts. <clears throat> Loading. Building the navigation mesh. <laughs> okay, that was some magic. That was some magic going on here. That I just heard. So no, that's a that's a centurion or uh, 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 something like that. Yeah, that just died. Centurion sphere. That just died the instant we came. That's weird. It really is. I'm going to save nonetheless. Could be that the person we're looking for is actually kept hostage here. There's another dead centurion. There is a person. That is poison as far as I'm as far as I understand. Come on, empty your magic car. He is going to come up close. That is a strong weapon. Well, I also can heal myself with a well-placed mm, restore health. There we go. And now he's dead. That's Sinyale. Could that be actually the person that we were looking for? Let me real quick check the quest log. Which says Dangot is the person that we're looking for. Okay. Um, also, I looked. I looked to the left because that's that's. Uh, I only see the overlay that you see in the OBS window. So that might look a bit weird when I look away from my screen to to actually see. So let's just let's just do this and then and then go. Not enough magicka to mark. Well, then we're just going to get out of here. Oh, yeah, I wanted to use the amulet. Because we can always walk back there. We know the way, and it's not that far. So, yeah, that's, that's that. I noticed that, that now that I've eaten all my blood goes into my stomach, so actually concentration is not that good. Yes. But I was too hungry you to start like to playing. Line, don't you? I'm not talking to you though. Um, to start to start playing before eating. Okay. So there is these gloves do not count because so these are just clothing items, but this is a weapon and gauntlet, pauldron, gauntlet, pauldron, shield, boots, fortify, constant effect, ooh, constant effect feather. What kind of boots am I wearing? I guess these, these are heavy though, yeah. yeah. Grumble, grumble, I would love to wear these, but oh, I can't wear boots anyway because I'm a beast race. Yes, 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 I can't use them. Fortify constant effect. Now this is an interesting ring. This is an interesting ring to wear. Constant effect, fortify light armor. Well, and then we can also sell these three. Thank you. Three blessings, friend. And the clothing goes to this time we go we sell the clothing to Ravir. Where is that? See, there we have. 
we have clothing from Dwemer Ruin for you, actually. No, that, that ring we want to keep, that's the quest ring. Extravagant. Oh, I also forgot to bring the books back. What we're going to do real quick. One. Let's head to Caius Casades and bring back the books. You flatter me with your And first we'll take a little catnap. In order to be fully healed. That's what I wanted to say. There goes. And now we just put the books with Caius Casades onto the growing pile of books and see if we can put some weapons or stuff onto the growing pile I'm of well, trophies, basically. Oh, come on. Also, I want to wear this... I want to wear this one ring. This one ring. This archer's ring. And now we're better with light armor. And we're also better with marksman weapons, which are, <laughs> it's not interesting to me. I'm not using a bow. I'm not... I'm not throwing anything, but still. What do you want? Not them from you. Oh, we're going to go to this weird guy who constantly stands there with his naked upper body, ah, also with welcome. his drugs. I mean, what may I, do for you? I want to speak, uh, being being Khajiit, I'm, Khajiit are known to be drug users. Constant effect. Fortify intelligence. Well, that's nice because it gives us... What does our current robe have? Resist fire and reflect. I think fortify intelligence by five points gives us more magicka. Because magicka is... We, we have bonus on magicka. Um, I don't know where it says, but we do have... Here, it's... We get half the intelligence added to the regular magic increase so i think it's 1.5 times or something like that so we should get more magicka points if we wear this and also the the reflection is interesting but it's just 20 to 30 percent so i'm actually going to change clothing either to wear this one which means we now have 135 instead of 127 magicka what was yes exactly perfect and we also have constant shield on us, which is a little shield, but it's a shield. Nice. Okay. Um, things are things are getting better and better. Okay, I can sell this. I can sell this. I, I did not sell everything actually. We have too many. So I do want to put things away that we want to keep. So for example, the, this one that we kept because we can command people. And the super summon thing, which seems a little overpowered, honestly. Oh yeah, these were these were super nice rings that they wanted to keep. But these, I think, are rubbish. I'm going to put this one here also. So if I wonder where it is, just shout and let it all out. So this is our pile of books. Now the books are inside each other. Come on, you're standing in the way, old man. I mean, he's he is our master of the blades, but still he's not very thoughtful. 260, wasn't there something with fed? Oh no, that, those were the boots that we could not wear because they were, we, we could not wear because we were a beast race, not just because they are heavy armor. So back to the salesman it is. Quickly, Outlander. We are getting stronger, which is nice. Time is, okay. I need a, a, a timer thing that does Oh, I do have. I can use our kitchen timer because it has a silent alarm. So when I'm done with this episode, I'm going to fetch our kitchen timer and then I don't need to look at OBS all the time. I can actually minimize it and don't see the uh, 
the movement there making me want to actually look at it. Okay, so the Blade of Punishment is uninteresting. The arrows are basically rubbish. The Viper's Sword. This one is what we use. The Amulet of Shades. So these we can also just put away. You don't buy this. You don't buy these. You don't buy that. Okay, so that's what you buy. Thank you. And then we head over <clears throat> to sell the trinkets. Hello, I have something, I have some jewelry for you. Uh, no, no, these I'm going to keep. This, well, it's not jewelry, but this is. And um, this I'm going to wear, yes. This is the amulet that I'm going to wear. And the other amulet, um, the amulet of Amsidian um, Trojan, actually going to sell it for the sole reason that we're constantly switching amulets and I'm constantly going to forget that. So I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to put on the this amulet. And I think I'm just going to enchant another part of our clothing. Oh, they don't have enough gold. What is the expensive item? The flame mirror robe. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we should yeah, head to a fine clothier, shouldn't we? I think one of the one of the stores here was a clothing store, wasn't it? Yes, an outfitter. Do they have enough gold for us? They only have 800 gold, which is sad. Well, then the flame mirror robe goes to our pile of loot. Don't press your I don't know if you have if you have oh, something no. mannequins in our house. I guess we don't. I don't know if Morrowind has that, but as I said, I think it does not. There might be mods that add it, but I'm not sure. We will see. I've never had a vanilla house, actually. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. You couldn't be talking to me because I wasn't even close, right? Okay, there we go. And then as for ah, the... welcome. What may I do for you? Not much. There, and we're going to put on the amulet. And these two, we also put on the table. And we just fetch it when, oh, that looks nice. Look at those amulets. We just fetch them as we need them, which is pretty nice already. Yes, I like it. Especially since we only have 100 um, weight units in use now. So let us recall. Really, that's a failed recalling. Oh, anywho. You know that there is no one there. Except for these corpses. And then we can just head up here. Okay, so let us pause real quick to regain our. We can also save here to regain a bit of the fatigue. Oh, it's, it's, it is 100%, even though we're below fatigue, which is awesome. I have you. Well, yes, you you might have me. That is, if I if I no miss or if I forget to evade your projectiles. She's shielding herself, I guess, so she can... No, now she's using the next... Oh, that one is fast. That one is fast. And now I'm just going to attack. Oh, she is not that strong against um, her spell, so I'm going to use another one. Let's try... Well, it's the weakest, so maybe she has... One is. Okay, now she's healing. I'm going to take more magicka. Look at her health, which is going down. 
She's got lots of magicka. She could attack on very often. Well, anyway, does not help her. She's dead now, and there's no enemy nearby, so we can actually heal up here. Very nice. And we still have room in our inventory. So let's drop a save. And then go back to our regular attack. Oh, there is a bridge over... A bridge over the lava. And a lava waterfall. That's awesome. Lava fall, I guess, not lava waterfall. So, save before we fall down the cliff. Let me take a look. This looks amazing and dangerous, so we just go back here. But before I open these doors, I'm looking here and I see it says 32 minutes, so I'm going to stop this episode here. We're going to see each other next Morrowind Monday. And the only thing for me to say now is bye-bye. The Alchemist's Formulary Healers Recipes Healers should all know the recipes for the following popular potions. Fortunately, in most cases, the ingredients are common and cheaply obtained. To restore health to the afflicted and wounded, combine in equal parts two or more of the following cheap and common ingredients. Marshmallow, Wickweed, Pork Bowl Brood, and Salt Rice. Marshmallow is an important crop of the Ascadian Isles, but it also grows wild in the Grazelands and on Azuras coasts. Wickweed is a wild ashland grain that grows in the Grazelands. Cork Bulb grows best in the Ascadian Isles. Most salt rice comes from southeastern Morrowind, but there are also some new and prospering farms and plantations in the Ascadian Isles. Salt rice occasionally grows wild in the Grazelands and on Asura's coast. To restore fatigue after heavy exertion, combine two or more of the following. Crab meat, red, small quama egg, and chokeweed. Crab meat is taken from the mud crab, commonly found along all coasts. Bread in Morrowind is usually baked from salt rice flour. Quama eggs are harvested from egg mines and sold everywhere in Morrowind. The smaller eggs retain properties lost in later states of gestation. Chokeweed is a tough shrub growing in the rocky highlands of the West Gash. To cure common diseases, combine grave dusts and green lichen. Grave dust is spirit affinitive dust taken from remains buried in consecrated ground. Green lichen is a hardy primitive plant that grows in the Ascadian Isles and Azuras coast. To restore magicka for spell casting, combine comberry and frost salts. Comberry is a bitter berry used to make wines. It grows mainly in the Ascadian Isles. Frost salts, by contrast, are rare and expensive. These crystalline compounds precipitate from elemental frost in solution. Such residues may be collected from the remains of frost atronax that have been banished from the mortal plane. Travelers' Recipes Pilgrims and travelers will find the following inexpensive recipes of particular interest. Feather reduces the wearied traveler's burdens and can be gained from heather and scuttle. Heather is a low evergreen shrub of the Ascadian Isles, known for its small pinkish-purple flowers. Scuttle, Vardenfeld's favorite local dish, is similar to cheese and made from the flesh of local beetles. Levitation can be produced from any two of the following ingredients, trauma root, racer plumes, and coda flowers. A thick, bitter-tasting root of the trauma shrub grows in the ashlands, Molag Amur and Red Mountain regions. Racer plumes are plucked from dead cliff racers. Coda flowers are collected from the primitive draggletail plant of the Bitter Coast. The power of water breathing is handy for travelers. A potion may be made from two or more of the following ingredients. Luminous Rasala, Hakalo leaf and Quama scuttle. Luminous Rasala is a squat mottled brown and green toadstool mushroom of the Bitter Coast region. Hackalow leaf is a succulent leaf of the Gracelands, prized for its taste and its roborative powers. Quama cuttle is a tough, waxy substance that comes from sacs in the mouths of quama. Adventurers recipes. Unfortunately, the potions most favored by adventurers require more rare and expensive ingredients. There are exceptions, like the easy and affordable recipe for fire shield. 
but most such potions require at least one ingredient with high cost in coin or blood. Fire shield potions can be made from comberry and sloat soap. Comberry is the bitter berry of the Ascadian Isles. Sloat soap is a waxy substance made from the immature, non sentient forms of the sloat. Sloat soap is not expensive, but is only rarely stocked by apothecaries or alchemists and cannot be collected locally. An adventurer can fortify his strength with a potion made from ash yams and dray wax. Ash yam is a tough, tuberous root vegetable common to the Ascadian Isles region. Drew wax is a tough, waxy substance scraped from drew shells. Drew are powerful aquatic creatures, and hunting them for their hides and wax is a dangerous occupation. Invisibility, one of the most prized effects of potions, can be made only from crushed diamonds and bitter green petals. Bitter green is a red flowering plant growing in the Red Mountain region. Diamonds, on the other hand, are very rare and expensive, and usually must be purchased from fine alchemists.